All right, guys, let's jump into this. I'm going to start from the outside and work my way in. And then you guys will know a little bit more about what we are driving on our overland adventures. Good morning, everybody. I'm here with the crew, Koa and Kaiko. Kaiko, where are you at? There he is. Okay. You want to see Kaiko? Just got to get his, stick his head out the window. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is, as in today's video, I'm going to do a Jeep tour. It's going to be awesome. The bad news is I went dirt biking the other day with some friends from work. It was crazy. I'm surprised I'm alive. The bad news is the GoPro didn't film anything. So I basically recorded up, up getting there and then some footage there just of my motorcycle. And my GoPro, I don't know what it is, but you have to press both the buttons on the Hero 5. I don't know why. You don't didn't usually have to do that, but it didn't film anything, and then it was dead. Completely dead. And it wasn't even on. I don't know, I might have to get a new GoPro, so that's that's some bad news for me. Because I don't have a lot of money. It's because I only have 34 subscribers as of right now, so you know. Maybe when I get like a million I can get a new GoPro, we'll see. The dirt biking was really fun. I want to see what I can do about my GoPro and get it fixed. I'll, I might throw some footage here and there in this video um, of the stuff I took. I don't know. We'll see. See what we can do with that footage. Well, I successfully made it to the meetup spot. The motorcycle's still there. <laughs> I'm so happy. So let's take a look around, see how it looks. All right. So, got the Jeep. Everyone's used to the Jeep. I've been, that's all I've been filming. But here's the new adventure here. <laughs> oh boy. So, got my bike. Finally hooked up to the Jeep. I survived getting it on all by myself. I uh, almost died in the process. Oh yeah, I filmed it. So yeah, that'll be, <laughs> I'm sure you've already seen that in this video. But I got her strapped down. I have no idea if I did that right. Got it there. Up on the handlebars on both sides. And then on the back tire. Overall, looks pretty good. It rode great. My Jeep's a champ. Although we do want a new Jeep, my Jeep is doing great. It has a V8, 4.7 um, with the 10 on it, with all the gear I pack up, and now with this, I mean, it still rides super smooth. I just take it easy so that thing's not wobbling around. The more I figure it out, and the more comfortable I get with it, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll be able to fly down the road and it'll be all good, but I'm just taking precautions for now. But I'm excited to get some footage today. Go riding with the boys. I'll try to film as much as I can. See you in a minute on the helmet cam. Damage report, my blinker is, sorry about that wind noise, kind of pulled back, but I can probably just pop that right back in there when I unscrew it. 
other than that, I just got some new scratches on it. I laid it down quite a few times, actually. Okay, anyways, we're gonna do a Jeep tour today. I'm gonna show you guys my Jeep. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm gonna show you what I carry in it on the daily and some plans I have for it and some plans I have for future vehicles that I would like to get. This is gonna be a pretty simple video. My last video was the iCamper video. Hope you guys liked that. And if you haven't watched that yet, I will leave it at the top of the screen somewhere right here. I appreciate your guys' support. We're currently just driving. We're gonna find somewhere off-road, of course, to film this thing. And let's check it out. Alright guys, let's jump into this. I'm going to start from the outside and work my way in and then you guys will know a little bit more about what we are driving on our overland adventures. This is a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4.7 V8. Alright, so starting from the outside, I mean everything's pretty basic here. I don't have any modifications besides these lights, which they do not work anymore. They're these Type S lights that you can control with your app or with your phone from an app. If I ever get any more lights, I'm just gonna get the ones that hook up to a switch. Have fog lights there. I've got Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. They're about a 30 inch tire. They are a 265-70 R17 whatever that means. So when I got these put on, I had to do a little grinding, cutting to get them to fit. They still rub a little bit when I'm in reverse and I'm cranking the wheel to the right or left, but these tires are awesome. I love the aggressive look here on the side walls. I've gone up some big hills and they work really well. So I would recommend Falcon Wild Peak All-Terrain Tires. Everything else on the outside is pretty basic. You guys know the iCamper from my last video. I've got a tow package on here 
This thing can tow, uh, I believe 6,200, somewhere around there, a little over 6,000. I wouldn't recommend towing that much, but that's what it's rated for. I have the five pin wire harness for a trailer, and then I got the trailer hitch. My motorcycle carrier goes in and this thing hauls my motorcycle nicely. Okay, I got these little spot mirrors here. My dad put those on. I don't know why, but they're awesome. <laughs> he just randomly put them on. So let's take a look at the inside. So I keep gloves here. I have rubber tip gloves and then I have a leather glove for heat. I have, an, I have the other leather glove here. I always have hand sanitizer here and on the other side too. That was before the whole sickness thing going around. So yeah, I mean, hygiene is normal part of my life. Now I'm just gonna not really go over the features of the Jeep because I really don't care. I mean, I'm just gonna show you kind of the gear I carry and what setup I have. I'm not doing this to tell you about this type of Jeep specifically. So here in this little area, I carry a Glock 17 magazine. My wife has a Glock 26 and the Glock 17 mag fits in it and I carry a Glock 19. Also the Glock 17 mag fits in it and it holds 17 rounds so that's why I have a Glock 17 mag there. Stepping into the Jeep, we're gonna look at my awesome entertainment system here. Well, actually, let's start at the top. So you can't see it very well, but I have a Rexing dash cam up there. The lighting is making it kind of hard and doesn't want to focus. This dash cam pretty much sucks. Uh, it's hit and miss if it's gonna work. So yeah, that has a big shadow on it. It's not gonna pick it up, but anyways, it's got a dash cam there. The footage on it is actually pretty good, but it doesn't work half the time. I have a radar detector just for fun. I've had this thing since I was like 16. It's It's been in my first car and then now this car. So, I mean, it, it works pretty well. Radar detectors are hit and miss anyway. This is my entertainment system. Can't turn it off. You have to click the faceplate in and out to uh, turn it on and off. So right now it's on. And, you know, everyone's probably jealous because their CD player can't do this. See that tilt? We're going to go three tilt. Okay, it's going to break. Okay, now it's stuck. Do you see that tilt action? Oh, yeah, let's see if we can get it back in. There we go. Anyways, <laughs> this CD player I've had since I was 15. I'm almost 30 now, so that shows you how long I've had it. It was in my first car, my Pontiac Grand Dam GT, and it's moved on to my second car, my, my Jeep. This thing's pretty ghetto, and someday I will not have an old CD player. I know, but you guys are probably jealous, so I'll move on from that. Um, I got the basic setup here. The AC in this Jeep works awesome when it works, but it's starting to be a little finicky. Last year, I filled up the Freon, and it worked great, but it's already starting to not work again. So if we go on really long trips, that may be an issue. Um, hopefully it works when we go, because we don't want to be miserable. So I got the tow haul package here. Traction control, it's nice to turn that off when you're in the mud or trying to slide around or going up hills. Favorite part of this Jeep is the four low. The four low works amazing, super low geared, and you throw it in four low, it's gonna go up pretty much any hill as long as your tires are aired down and you know what you're doing. Um, stuff that I keep in here, basically have this little cloth wiping stuff down, earplugs, some UVU glasses that I got for free. I need to get me some new sunglasses. Keys for my rack and the eye camper. Charging cable, another charging cable. Safety glasses, in case you wanna randomly go shooting or something. GoPro mount, don't know why that's in there. I need to replace these lights. I have this really old inverter. Couldn't run much through it, but it's nice to plug some. This is before I had my power supply, so I don't know, it's just nice to have one of these on hand. I've got a lighter. I mean, I got these GoPro mounts, but probably won't use those too much anymore. And let's see what else I got in there. Some more earplugs, some pens, floss, some loose change, some USB adapters, and that's about it. 
over on this side, more hand sanny. And I got a lint roller. Why would I need a lint roller? Why on earth would I need a lint roller? Keiko, why are you so fluffy? Continuing on with this side. Nothing too crazy. In here I keep, ah, oh, there we go. Basic first aid kit. And in here I've got license, registration, all the important paperwork. I've got some hearing protection. Man, I've got earplugs and hearing protection. Yeah, just in case there's a random impromptu shooting experience. Onto the back seat. I always keep grocery bags here for trash and whatever else you might need them for. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about my whole Jeep. This awesome wood grain. Yeah, I hate it so much. But anyways, here's the back seat. I have this little thing to protect my back seat from the dogs. Even though my back seat, it's pretty much wrecked because this thing has been the adventure mobile. Right here, I have some cheap little gear organizers from Amazon. There's another lint roller, bug spray. I keep these things empty so that when we actually go out, we can fill them up with what we need. I've got two cup holders back there, which is nice. I'll go over to the other side and show you the other organizer. So here's the other organizer. This one I like a lot. The other one's cool because it has so many pockets and stuff and it'll be nice to put like an iPad in for Liam. And things, mostly Liam supplies, but this one has Molly all down the back. It has three pouches down at the bottom. And there's a big pouch here. I've got a solar panel there, which if I couldn't charge anything through my Jeep or if the battery was completely dead and the power supply was dead, I could at least power some USB devices with that. That is a BioLite, um, BioLite charger. Plug your stuff in right, right there. Has another big pouch here. So it looks like it only has two pouches. I thought it had three, but anyways, you can put Molly stuff on there. So these seats, both these fold down. Our old camping setup, we had the seats folded down. Braden and I would sleep inside. Kaiko would sleep in there with us, but now we have another dog and a baby. So that's not gonna work. Over here, I keep large trash bags all the time to clean up my mess whenever we go out. Moving along to the back, I would open the back hatch, but like I explained in my last video, it hits the eye camper. So we might just have to deal with looking in the back through the glass. Starting from the left, I have an outlet. I have my 72 hour kit. I wanna make a video about my 72 hour kit, everything that's inside of it, get a table, lay it all out, and just kinda talk about all the things I carry in there. I'm actually going to pull this bin out so you guys can see what I carry in it. All right, so this is what my cargo container looks like. I've got chargers for this battery pack here, the wall charger for it. I've got extra USB charger adapter. So basically just have the normal things you'd wanna keep in a car. Jumper cables. I got this thing which has worked well. It has an air compressor in it. You can charge your devices with it. It has lights and jumper cables. So it's a jump starter pack. I've actually used it when I wasn't driving my Jeep as much. When I was driving my wife's car, I had to jump start it a few times. And it worked great. I've actually had to fill up my tires with it as well. So that's kind of an emergency thing. I charge it every month, try to keep it charged, but it's not my primary tool for airing down or using anything really. It's just kind of there in case I need it. I've got some coolant pre-mixed, some Febreze in case I need to like spray the dogs so they smell better. Not really, obviously for the car. Um, some shop towels are invaluable. 
A, oh my gosh, this toe strap. This freaking toe strap from Walmart. It's pretty sad. Uh, I just work with what I've got. Um, funnel. Little shovel, fire extinguisher, bottle jack, gas can, toilet paper. If anyone watches this and wants to steal anything, just, just don't steal my toilet paper. Gloves, some wire. Wire's always good to have. Oh my gosh, and a dirty Cheez-It. This is my tool bag. Nothing too crazy, it just is a random bunch of tools in there. I've got the basics, pliers, vice grips. Oh, zip ties. Zip ties are the best. Check this out. Max duct tape, so if like anything happens, I can just duct tape it back on. I don't have any mechanical skills, so that's probably my go-to thing. So I've got random tools and all that stuff, but the most important thing is I have a hatchet in case I get in like an, a battle. So I saw these on, what was it, Light Bright. They use these, so ultimate tire valve system. Apparently, if your valve stem comes out or something, you can use these. So they, they said to always have them, so I bought some that night. Alrighty, so I have a Smitty built air compressor. This thing's awesome, it's kind of bulky, has great power though. I mean, fills up the tires fast, reliable, very heavy duty. The hose wraps, reaches around the whole Jeep, hooks up to the battery. I have the Coyote tire deflators. If you haven't seen my video where I use these for the first time, I will link it above and where I air down for the first time. I was just using my GoPro for that video, so no judging and I didn't have a microphone, so the audio sucks. So here's the view of everything with the hatch open. Those ratchet straps are just for my motorcycle. But I have two 10 inch subwoofers, uh, Rockford Fosgate and an MTX. I've had these since I've been 15. They've been passed on between my brother and his friend and then his friend. So they are super old, but they still work and I like to listen to music. So I work with what I've got. Over here, I have my air compressor and my tool bag. I try to keep everything secured with the carabiners. So if I do roll over or something, the gear is not flying too far. I try to keep it secure. This little thing has Velcro on the bottom so it stays in place well. Got the sub secured here with this ratchet strap. This is secured to that ratchet strap. My other bag secured to that strap and then anything else is I try to secure it somehow. All right guys, that's a tour of my Jeep. I hope you liked it. I hope you like seeing the gear that I carry. If you have any suggestions, please leave in the comments below. So this Jeep is temporary. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube about overlanding and stuff and they said like a lot of people were like, the best overlanding vehicle is the vehicle you already have. So I took that to heart and I am going to use my Jeep because overlanding is expensive and we don't have the money to go buy a Jeep Wrangler. That's what we want to get. So this is temporary. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna love it and make memories using this Jeep and using all this crappy gear that I have. Not so much the air compressor, but everything else is pretty much just thrown together. And I don't care because we're gonna make it work. So that's the plan. Work with this until we can get something different so that I can actually open my back hatch with the eye camper attached. This is just kind of Working with what we have, but overall this vehicle has been great. It's my second vehicle I've ever owned. I've taken it on a lot of adventures. It's gonna be used a lot more when we go overlanding and camping with my family, so stay tuned for that. Make sure all you guys are liking my videos, subscribing, so that YouTube can pay for a new Jeep, because if not, we're gonna be stuck with this thing for a while, and you should hear the noise that the tire's making. It doesn't sound good. This thing's gonna be falling apart before I know it, so maybe, just maybe someday, I can make money from YouTube and it can help me buy a new vehicle because that's not gonna happen for a very long time. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time. We appreciate you watching and we will talk to you next time. Crew, say goodbye. Kaiko, Koa.
what Liam's brought me. Thanks, bud. Someone thinks I need to go work out. Liam, can you put it back? I'll go to the gym later. There you go, honey. Go put it back. All right, thank you. Oh. So I get to go to the gym and you get Pringles? Okay. Mm -hmm.